morning everybody um, I wanted to make this video today to express my anger and um, doesn't look like I'm angry but I am I'm boiling inside due to the restrictive um, the restriction of speech free speech on Facebook and even YouTube sometimes and and just I got involved in a page on Facebook last year during the gun de debates when they were real hot and heavy and I was mad and angry that uh, after the the threats of taking our guns away and all this other crap which is total rhetoric and BS so a lot of people on my personal page didn't don't care to see the what I have to say um, and that's sad but it's, it's the truth. And um, so I got involved with the page. Some friends of mine got me to be an administrator on the page because they liked my commentary that I was writing on my personal page. And some of the videos that I had made. Now, this is the, the gun deal. It's, it's a Trayvon Martin. We're going through the Zimmerman trials. Right, it's past. It's it's a week old. It's over a week old, but we're still going into it. But now the president came out and made a speech. This there was a an administrator. There's like ten of us on there, but basically got out of our personal pages to go put that stuff into this group, and and people who are interested in that can like that page and hear what we have to say, which we don't normally write anything personal uh, and post that sometimes I try not to be offensive I just may post my opinion I don't cuss or condemn try not to on there um, but uh, there was a, a an administrator that made a post she was very angry it was one of our own administrators I've read the dang post she posted they've blocked us now this blocks our personal pages. It doesn't let us like or post, uh, be able to post anything on our personal pages. Um, it locks us everybody down. That's an administrator of the right minority report. So I found out about this at six thirty this morning. Um, and 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 yes, I run my business. Yeah, it might sound stupid, but. I get a lot of my business off my page, and it pisses me off. But I'm not mad. I'm not mad at the group. I'm not mad at the lady for posting her opinion. Barbie, I'm not mad at her at all. It's her freaking right to voice her opinion. It's free speech. And it wasn't even offensive, and I'm offensive, and I'm fixing to read it to you. And I agree with her. The fact that we all got shut down, and basically... For, for uh, 24 hours pisses me off more. Um, she wrote, the president of this country is an idiot. He makes me sick. His reckless, stupid remarks make my blood boil. I want to know why he hasn't been impeached. He hates his country and is a cancer to it. His statement that if Trayvon Martin had, had been armed, he would have been justified in shooting George Zimmerman. For following him, this is absurd. Zimmerman shot him because he was bashing his head in the ground, not because he was simply following him. I truly hate that man. Go ahead and put me on a watch list. I don't give a shit. Which, she blanked out the last two IT anymore. I am mad as hell. Barbie. That's an angry person's personal opinion to vent I didn't see any and it's her opinion and, and she's free to have that that's the whole reason we started the site well she got, a, she got the wish the watch list whatever they shut you down they shut us down they didn't just shut the page down. They shut all of our personal pages down, too. This makes me very angry. 
it, I feel I'm yes I haven't done anything personally wrong but I'm defending her for her right and I also agree with her but the fact that they shut our pages down I feel like a little kid being reprimanded for saying something wrong I'm a grown ass man I do what the hell I want to do and I'll say what the hell I want to say that is a freedom in this country it was apparently it's not at least on communist book so and, and, and even on YouTube and here I am gonna post this video on YouTube and I'm not trying to offend nobody but apparently you, you can't make comments like that I don't know if somebody reported that if you did your chicken shit if you didn't like the comment, you should just delete, just unlike the page. It's that simple. But you, you know, if that's the case, that's a that's like a little evil person who can't voice their own opinion. They're gonna make everybody else suffer because they don't they don't like what you said. That's just retarded. I don't do that shit. If you can't argue with me, um. Civilly, without bringing name calling into it, then you have. I guess that's the kind of person that would report something like that. Now, I've had some comment. I've gotten to uh, address some comments on there and talk to some people civilly. We may, still didn't agree, but we didn't hate each other at the end, and that's what it's about. But there are some people out there. You ain't gonna hear you for anything you have to say and they think they're right and I, I can be that just as bad about that but I also have an open mind about certain things in certain areas I will listen and I'll weigh the truth and the facts versus what I'm being told by anybody or any or anything that I see and I may do some research on that and dig a little deeper and find some more truth rather than verbatim word taken from somebody else as fact and running with it this angers me so much I do not feel uh, the first time in my life in America in the United States of America that I do not feel free and that is scary and it, it sends, gives me goosebumps it chills down my spine it makes me angry. It makes me, you know what it does? It makes me want to fight more. It makes me want to just learn more and fight more. It, it, because it's it's wrong. It's wrong. Because it's the truth. And people don't want to hear the truth. That's the sad thing about it. Nobody can accept responsibility for the truth. And our leaders up there that have been elected know the truth. And they don't like to hear it because it hurts. It. If they got a conscience, it, it eats on them. It makes them look bad and feel bad about themselves. So therefore, they, they want to do what they can to shut them down. That's, that's wrong. It's wrong. Y'all, they, they are wrong. And you cannot agree with me. And that's fine. This is my opinion. This is my thoughts on this deal. It's very important to me. The only reason I'm making this video, but I'm offended that they shut they shut this down over over simple. And we haven't had many comments. I, I started I commented the other day about my on an opinion of mine about the Martin Zimmerman case, and and I guess some other people started to comment after mine. I didn't think my post was offensive we didn't get shut down over it it was just I specified this is my opinion me personally I didn't want retribution coming to anybody else in the group this is my opinion this is I saw this on the news and angered me so I voiced my opinion and what I thought was the case of the eight the attorney general was doing in the investigations I'm not gonna name his name because I don't want to be tagged but you know E.H. is his, you know, letters of his name if you know what's going on. But anyways, this is sick, sad, 
just makes me so much more angrier. And I really feel there's a problem now over that simple deal. And if you don't, don't understand it, you can go back and listen to it. If that offends you, I don't, I don't know what to say. Would it be any different if you had put the words oh, um, George Bush in there? Would it still be as offensive? Would it still be bad? But just changing the name, if it was a different time? We're in a, we're in a bad, we're in a different deal now than we were 15 years ago. As far as 15 years, it's changed since, well, let's see, since 2011. Or t 2001, it's changed dramatically. About 2011, I'm looking at 2011 on the count, on the date up there, but 2001, it's changed dramatically, and people don't understand the the major change. And this is a major change. I can't even imagine 15 years ago that you could get banned or, or uh, reprimanded for just having an opinion and that stuff is very 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 scary and it pisses me off and and people just don't oh well I'm gonna go watch my TV I'm gonna go I'm gonna go do whatever I need to do I ain't got time to worry about that it's not my problem it is your problem it, wh what happens when something important to you comes up and you voice your opinion and then you get shut down or you, you're going to be pissed. So, I'm not mad at this lady who wrote this. I'm mad because it got shut down. And she had a right to write her, her feelings and her opinions on a public forum. She didn't mention anything... Other than anything different, uh, offensive in my mind, uh, people say a lot more offensive things, and I see a lot more offensive stuff on there than this is what I'm getting at. Um, and that's a sad deal. It's, it's a scary deal, too. If you see an injustice, I mean, it won't be long. You see an injustice in a, of a police officer doing something to somebody and, and you go on a rant and you get locked up or violated because of your opinion. Because you may be right, but because it makes them the, the powerful look bad, it, man, you're, we're in trouble. We, we are in trouble. It's there. We're already at that point. People don't want to see it or believe it I guess I see it and I believe it because I see it and stuff like this is a telltale sign of what is wrong that's my opinion but I think I'm right about it I've been right about a lot of things as they've come out predictions as they've come as they've already happened I'm like man I saw it coming I'm not a prophet or nothing I just I know how stuff works because I'm, I've researched it. I've paid attention. I've learned. I've watched history. It just keeps on going, but people don't want to pay attention to that because either they don't have the time, but this is dangerous and it could affect everybody. And most of these are happening on a lot of right wing pages, patriot pages, uh, any pages that are against the president. Oh, horrible. Um, you know, voicing their hatred or anger or ridiculousness towards him and the administration. And they can shut that down because there's, it's all about money, I think. And they can, they, uh, I'm not going to go into the rest of that, but it, it's a scary deal. It, it's bad. There's that, there's no freedom there. People say, oh, we're free, and there ain't nothing like this could happen. It's happening right now. It's being restricted. 
Maybe not to you because you're posting, maybe you're posting love poems and positive things that are, are not irrelevant to the real world right now that's going on, the fight, the struggles. Um, or you're posting pictures of and recipes and stuff and funny stuff. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's when you get into the darker side of this world. You live in that happy, keep your head in the sand like an ostrich, but the other part of the world is a dark place. And they want people to stay in that with their blinders on and not look at the dark place because it doesn't affect you, but it does. It does, it does, it does. Anyways, wake up, people. I don't know what to do or where to go with this. But it's bad. It makes me angry. I don't know what to do about it. Just sit here and take it. Take it like a little bitch. Guess that's all we can do. I'm tired of